Hello, welcome to Shell Shape K. Welcome back to the Sweet Experience YouTube channel. If you're wondering why I'm looking like Death Row Rover, I've been up since 4 a.m. It is now 8.53 in the morning. And um, I was just trying to get a jump start on some washing. Um, it's seven of us in my household, so I'm washing every day. And I kind of you know, slipped behind. And whoo! I watched three loads and still have three more to go. <laughs> um, hate folded clothes, but that's not what this video is about. I'm, di I'm di I digress right now. Um, this video is about a uh, weight loss journey. Um, I just happened to watch Tanya J. Wan's video about her weight loss journey, and I wanted to say congratulations for making the decision to be healthy. I am doing the same thing too. Um, we make the same resolutions every year that we're going to lose weight, lose weight, lose weight. And I've been making that same resolution since I've been pregnant. And, uh, okay, so I haven't had a baby in two years. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. <laughs> if anybody know me personally, y'all know Ro was pregnant for four, five years straight, honey. I mean, one of my uh, schoolmate friends, uh, Red, Darrell, had seen me at a musical, and I think I was pregnant with my third child. Okay, so it was another year later before I seen him again, and he was like, dang, it's not the same baby, is it? I'm like, no, it's a whole, <laughs> it's a whole new baby. So, uh, amen, glory be to God, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> the Morena works. If anybody want to know, yes, go get it. I'm not pregnant, baby. It's that deal. Yes, it is. Okay, so enough of the silliness. Back to what this video is about. Hit the mark for real, seriously. Um, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm 225 pounds. I stand 5'4", so you do the math. I'm obese. Yeah. Not cute. Not sexy. I ain't feeling a shake and a jiggle up under here. That is gross. It is not becoming a real for show image right now. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 225 is a bit much. I feel all 225 pounds. I'm having issues with my knees, actually. Um, honey, they give out. Yes, they do. They give out. And I'm too young to be falling. Um, so, I, I said that, you know, I told God, along with um, accepting my call to teach the word of God, I said I want to be healthy to do it. I don't want to be standing up there talking and all out of breath, panting, having asthma attacks, and you know all that extra foolishness. Um, and over that, I, you know, I just have a lot of friends who have been having a lot of health issues, and you know, people dying at such young ages. And I'm like, Lord, I got too many kids to leave here early, so let me make sure I do my part. Okay. So, I'm always, you know, talking about us getting out of sin. When in reality, it is a sin to be gluttonous. Okay? Or is it glutinous? I don't know. One of them you know what I'm saying. Um, so, what I'm doing right now, or haven't been doing in two weeks, I'm being honest, I have fallen off. I fell off because, you know, the Christmas little weekend, and then New Year's came in, and we had a lot of people in my house, and I was just like, you know what? We'll start back. But I'm, I'm starting back this week and getting myself back on track and doing what I'm supposed to do. Because um, we're getting ready to jump into a fast in February with my church. Uh, we're doing the Daniel's fast. And if anybody knows anything about the Daniel fast, oh my goodness. That's probably the most strenuous fast. I mean, drastic change to a diet. There is no animal byproducts. No, no foods that have been chemically induced. No sweeteners. None of that. Just vegetables and fruit and water now we can have as much of it as we want um like there isn't any time restraints on when we can eat but it's just restricted to what we can eat so if anybody's interested in joining um me doing that and you want the information on what to do uh just inbox me and i'll send you the stuff that i put together for our church uh to do um you're welcome to join. Uh, you can either pray with us for the things that we need at our church or just pray for your own stuff. I don't care. It's up to you. I just I just believe that there's going to be a mighty move. Okay, so I've wasted five minutes already, and I ain't even told y'all <laughs> what I'm doing. I use Comcast 
uh, on demand to work out. Uh, I got five kids. I have a membership to LA Fitness. But, yeah, don't nobody really want to watch all five of my kids at one time. So, um, I, I got to do what I got to do to make it work. There's no excuses this year. Just like the cursing, I've got to get this weight off. I'm kind of, I've been having dreams about diabetes. And I'm like, okay, God, I hear you. I'm, no. If I get sick or, if, you know, anything like that, it's going to be my fault because I didn't take care of me. So, I, I work out using um, Comcast On Demand. If you go all the way down, go to Comcast On Demand, Sports and Exercise. Once you click that, go all the way down to Walking. I do Leslie Sand songs, Walk a Mile or Walk Two Miles. Or I'll do Chris Frey Tags, Walking Cardio Shape Up, which gives you a bit of cardio and toning. I also will do Jillian Michaels Kettlebell Training. Love that because it burns like 500 calories in just 45 minutes. Love it. Um... Also, I have applications on my phone that allow me to do workouts. And I'm not I got the hiccups, y'all. I'm sorry. I just run off the ones that I got for, you know, time sake. Uh, I use Body Fitness is one. Uh, ab Workout. Butt Workout. Uh, I think that might be the only ones. And Arm Workout. Um, and just to give you an idea what the icon looks like. Uh, this is the body fitness one. That's the very first one up here where my finger is, is the ad workout one. The purple one down here. Uh-oh. Is the uh, butt workout one? Um, I also use applications to help me journal my food. The one that I use the most is My Fitness Pal. Um, what I like about that one is I actually set up for it to post statuses to my Facebook account. So I hadn't been tracking what I've been eating for like a couple of days and. Sunday, I started getting these notifications like, oh, Ro, you can do it. Get to the finish line and, you know, hang in there. It's okay. Just jump back on the wagon. I'm like, what in the heck is these people talking about? <laughs> my application had posted that Ro, Ro for show has not logged into my fitness pal. She may need encouraging to encouragement to keep her on track with her weight loss goal. So I like that because it holds me accountable to what I said I was going to do. And I felt all bad. Like, dang, it just put me on blast. Everybody know I ain't doing what I'm supposed to do. So that's, you know, it's kind of cool. I also use sparkpeople.com's uh, diet and food tracker as well as their rest healthy recipes to help me cook. So I can eliminate using like butter and certain oils and so much sugar and so much salt. Um... So that's been working. So those are a few of the things that I'm doing. I also keep a pitcher of water in my refrigerator. Um, but I squeeze tons and tons of lemon into my water. So it's nice and refreshing when it's cold. But it also works as a diuretic to um, relieve me of so much water. Because I do swell like I'm still pregnant um, around my ankles. Yes, God. Some days I ain't even got ankles. Actually, I ain't seen ankles in about five years since before I started getting pregnant. So, that helps a lot to maintain keeping um, the water retention down. And it tastes really good and it cleans your system out. Alright, so those are the few things that I do uh, do to uh, help with my weight loss goals. I'm getting ready to head over into my living room and get my workout on. So... Love and hair grease. And I hope this